Hey guys, it's LB with the DIY Journalist. Today is episode two of things you can do in self-isolation. And today's episode is do the things you've been putting off. Now that you have a little bit of time on your hands, why not do the things you've been putting off? Here are a few things that I've been putting off. Number one is a hockey wall. We have this longish hallway in our house that leads to the master bedroom and the bathroom. And Mitch has a lot of hockey memorabilia and some awesome framed hockey photos. So I thought, why not put them up in that longish hallway? I've never made a photo wall before, so this was a bit of an experiment, but I absolutely love the way it turned out. So much better than I thought it actually would. So to do this, I measured the wall and the space that I was gonna be putting the photos up into, and then I laid that out onto the floor so that I could get a better kind of understanding of where everything was gonna go and I could map it out that way. So to do this, all I did was lay my photos down in the green tape and it didn't need to be exact either because I had a lot of room any way to go so if I needed to I could go over a little bit. Now this is what it looked like once I was done and just a tip, take a picture so that you have a reference. Now I am hanging up all of my photos the way that I laid them out and to do this I'm just kind of finding on the wall where I liked them and then I am placing the pin and making a tiny little mark where the top of it was and then I'm moving it down however far it needs to go to wherever the thing is that holds the frame onto the wall. I don't know, they're all different on every single photo frame. Some of them have wire, some of them have little, I don't know, hollow circle thingies and others don't really have anything, so yeah. <laughs> So here's the before, and here is the after. I had a lot of fun making this, this was, just, I don't know why I put it off. Now time to finish the mudroom. Woo! We finished redoing the mudroom slash laundry room a month or so ago and I just haven't gotten around to finishing it yet. I built the bench a few weeks ago and then it just turned into a dumping ground. One single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. I purchased this fig tree on Facebook Marketplace last week and it was kind of what I was waiting for to start. So I finally got around to doing it. And and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking I also found this mirror on Facebook Marketplace and the paper was kind of coming off and the staples were lifted so I needed to hammer them down. I was actually very terrified doing that. I thought I was going to break the mirror. I seriously thought I had broken it at one point. Um, I'm putting it up with some command strips and uh, you'll notice the paper lifts right here. We're just gonna ignore that. There's so much that I'm still keeping to myself Cause you don't I'm now using a level just to make sure that the mirror is level and straight and then I'm pressing it into the wall and holding it there for about a minute or so and and It's a shame that my hands start shaking oh. While cleaning out the coat closet, I found these hats I dusted them off and thought that they were too nice to have in the top shelf of the coat closet, so I decided that they could be some decoration. 
and if Mitch needs one, he can just grab one down and put it back when he's done. I need somebody to love. Oh, 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 no, no. God, I'm sick of this waiting. You got me going crazy tonight. So now, this cow hook here came with the house originally, and I absolutely loved it, so I made sure we kept it so I could keep it. <laughs> This is the before, and this is the after. I really like the way that it turned out. Um, I'm gonna be putting some hooks over in that kind of blank area above the bench. I just need to find some first and figure out what exactly I want to do with them, as in like what design. <laughs> My office slash studio. My office and my studio are in the same room, which makes my desk more like extra crafting space. Especially when my knitting machine was set up. It takes up most of my workbench. I haven't been using it lately though, and thought, why not take it down? It's easy to set up, and I'll have a more proper workbench. And not have to use my desk to solder and whatever else I'm doing, because I like to, you know, bounce around from medium to medium. It's just the medium I've been getting into lately, jewelry soldering. Also, my studio was just getting really crowded and unorganized, so something needed to be done. I found these bookshelves on Facebook Marketplace the other day, so I was finally ready to tackle reorganizing and re configuring my office slash studio. I also went through my entire desk and got all of my papers organized and I threw out, recycled, whatever, a bunch of papers, like almost an entire garbage bag full of just old documents that I no longer needed and stuff like that. So. It's kind of refreshing now and not so overwhelming. <laughs> I am very happy that I have done this, especially because I have some exciting news for you guys. Um, we are getting a puppy. We are getting a puppy May 8th and we need the space around. <laughs> so if I'm gonna be working at at home, I need him to be able to have some room in my office with me and, you know, I think it'll be a change for Max and he might need some space occasionally. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just, it's gonna be good to have more room. Especially, I use the floor a lot too when I work. I don't know if other people are like that or if I'm just used to not having a desk or somewhere to work. Growing up, I just always used the floor. So guys, I don't know if you can see, but I have two of these white shelf wire basket shelf unit things um, full of yarn. And I basically Marie Kondoed my yarn and <laughs> I went through it all and Actually, yeah, I literally asked myself if this sparks joy. <laughs> and it was kind of refreshing. Just getting rid of everything that I, you know, was maybe going to use one day. My what ifs or my I could maybe make something with this, but I'm not sure. So I wanted to show you guys what happened camping last year. My yarn bag got too close to the fire and it caught on fire actually like twice well no once it melted and then another time there was sticks that fell onto it and then it really caught on fire <laughs> um yeah so i'll try and salvage as much of this as i can same thing happened with my pink one and i did the same thing so yeah We'll see how it goes. I'm so happy I did these things, guys. They make me happy when I look at them. I know that sounds really cheesy, but it actually makes me happy when I look in the bedroom now because it just looks so nice. 
Um, it also gives you a sense of accomplishment and I think that's something that is really hard to get and feel sometimes when you work at home and especially when you're stuck at home. Sometimes even the smallest things can cause a sense of accomplishment, just like making your bed in the morning. It's scientifically proven to start your day off feeling a small sense of accomplishment, which in return sparks your productivity. Like how awesome is that? Um, I know this is a really hard time for everybody and it's hard to be doing anything for some of us right now, um, especially us that deal with mental health issues, but we will be strong.